continue with the X axis. It should be all going fine. Maybe famous last words. So the cross part that is going to sit here and it is going to look even more like a 3D printer. So we are going to build now this part of the Voron V0.2 RS1. So also here, I'm going to use the metal parts from the Cyborg kit. I don't need to use heated inserts. It should be all going fine. Maybe famous last words. 25. Yes. And I need two of them. We are going to build some bearing stacks again. So the fun part comes. If I'm looking to the drawing, this is left upper. This is left upper, left lower. And then equally is this the right lower. And does it look like that? <laughs> Fingers crossed. But I, I think it should be all fine. So we are going first to do the joint left lower joint left lower this is flipped like this then the m3 times 25 are going in here we're turning it over like that keep those sets together guys keep those sets together washers we are going to need some washers two washers so we turn it like that so that we clearly can see what the intent is but i also see a screw hole here and i have no idea what i supposed to be doing here so washer and then another washer then two of those flange bearings one two and then another two washers one two just like that then we are going to take such kind of a printed we need to have for each side, we need to have two of them. So that will be all fine. This one goes there. And then first this one here. And then two, one, two. Then two flange bearings. And then another two washers. Something like that. There is another set in there. So this one looks like this. And if I take this one, just like that. Okay. So it does, does seems to be working. And since there is no thread in there, it just goes like that. But anyways, these, from my previous build, the Vorm V0.1, these are also kind of metal standoffs. But these, I assume that they have some threads in there. These are actually for the tool head on the side where the extruder stepper motor is going to be. Yeah. Without the right instructions, I still manage to handle it. So that's fine. So now we are going to see if this these are for that. At least I think they are for there. Now I need to So that worked. So putting it on the long edge here, on this edge, putting it like that, a little bit tension on the two shafts and try to align them with the screw holes on this side. This one should be really easy easy peasy lemon squeezy these two make sure to check how everything is supposed to go so just like this as on the example and first that one then a few more shins washers rings so then flange bearings one and two and then we are going to do on the other side, we are going to do two rings, shins, washers, then the two flange bearings, one and two, and then two rings, one and two, and then the last spacer. 
A little bit loose. Putting this one in. So, no wobble in there. So first one is trying to find out how it works the best. The second one is going to be a whole lot faster. So let's continue. Now we are going to take this part. We take an A extrusion. It is an extrusion with any holes in there. This one up like that. Linear rails. We are going to take the last linear rail. And that is basically the one with the blue protective packaging. A little bit careful that the carriage doesn't run off. And now we need to have N2 times 6 screws. So I also need to have M3 nuts. And I need two on the left and two on the right side. We need to have a distance of 25. And so meaning once that is done, we have on both sides 25. So final check, see if the carriage is exactly in the middle. When you hold the carriage like this and then move it from the left to the right, and feel with both of the thumbs if if it is equal yes or no that is all good on this side i have to load two and three nuts one two just like that now we are going to take the sides so this one goes on here it feels that i cannot push through so i'm go going to take the allen key just a tiny bit loose just like this. And now the part comes that we need to make sure that the nuts are exactly above the holes. So take them off, just put it like that, and then try to align it. So which screws are going in? And three times 12. Let's, let's do it a little bit differently. Let's do it my way. I think you know where I'm going. Make it simple and easy. We take those two nuts out. Make sure that the reel is like that. Now we do the other side. All nice. Then we have on the bottom side, we have also two nuts. Those are pretty simple easier to reach and you know the trick you know the trick and three times six do we have those yes we have those so just like that very nice very cool yeah also here check your work yeah i did so what i'm going to do to align it take one of those rubber things against here and on this side, I do exactly the same thing. Those, those holes, those should align. I'm going to put this in between, just like that. So here it also says, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this part off and just a slightly bit loose. Turn around here also. There's a reason for that because these are going to make sure that if you are going to tighten it that it can expand a little bit and so that everything is tight because now there is still some wiggle room so if you move the gantry you feel that the carriages are also moving over the linear rails so that is something we want <laughs> So take the rubber stubs away because they are not needed anymore. First again, three all the way to the back. So and now tighten the screws, making sure you are 
turning the right way or else you will lose your nuts anyways now we are going to add the b extrusions and both we need to load with three m3 nuts what i actually did this one a tiny bit loose yeah and this one fully move it a little bit that direction then put it right in here and just try to shove it right in there just like that and then tension this one now you might think like yeah but that one that is now covered is loose it's just a tiny bit and when i'm going to screw a screw in here and here then this is also going to be rigid so now for the x-axis and i need to install m3 times 10 so now we are going to add m3 times 10 screws so we need two of them on the front side like that and now we have those covers they go in like this and here another one like that and then we are going to turn the printer around and now we are going to do the same thing with m3 times 10 screws and they are going in the back just like that now the second one Nice. 